Hey guys, it's John here coming to you with another Disney store view. Here I got for you today, Li Shang from Milan. So let's jump right in and see if he's worth a purchase. Li Shang is one of my favorite Disney princes. Um, I know I've said that in the past, um, Prince Philip is my favorite, but then I do like Li Shang. I think he is um, awesome. Even though um, Mulan and Li or Shang aren't official, like they are official Disney princes and princesses, but they're not technically a prince and princess, since Lee is not a prince and Mulan's not a princess. So let's jump right in. Um, Shang, unique to Shang is obviously his hair. He is um, the only prince doll at the moment with actual rooted hair. Many of the other princes have um, molded hair. As you can see, Let's have a look at his face mold first. Um, I think face mold wise, he looks amazing. Um, I was a big fan, fan of Shang. And so um, I can tell that it looks like um, the movie, which I'm really happy about. Normally they kind of, since they're not Lee or Shang, sorry, I keep on calling him Lee, since Shang is not the um, one of the more, most popular princes, I would have thought that Disney would have um, didn't don't really put a lot of detail into his merchandise, but I'm really happy um, with his face mold here. I think it looks great, and I like the rooted hair. I think it's great too. Um, something I don't like about the rooted hair though is he has this kind of just part hanging at the back. Uh, I think it would have been better if they just cut that off and just had a bun with his or his hair slicked back. Because now it kind of just looks like um, you can hide it from the front, but then it does kind of tend to get a little wild back there. <laughs> and kind of does kind of looks like a mullet or something. Something I also really like is how they did that V there. <laughs> I think that's really awesome. Um, costume wise, Shang has a brilliant costume. He's dressed in his um, army clothes. So he has. Uh, his kind of shielded vest there, which is actually material. I would have preferred it be like kind of a soft plastic. I felt I think that would have been really cool. Um, so he also has the silk sleeves, um, which is kind of a dress as well. So this whole top part is one, and then he comes with pants underneath, which are just shiny silver pants. So that's pretty great. He comes with black and white boots with slits at the back, which is also great. And my favorite, I do love a good cape and this, my friends, is a good cape. Uh, I'm a big fan of dolls that, or Disney dolls that have capes. So I'm glad that Shang got his and it's Velcro at the back, or oh, at the front, I mean. So you can take that off, and that's what he looks like with it off. Not too shabby, but I do prefer it on. And also, um, with the cape, I do like how they added that ribbon at the front. Because he does that, does have that in the movie. So I'm surprised how um, great Shang looks. So, articulation-wise, he has rotation in the head, no tilt. Arm articulation obviously um, limited by the shirt, does go out, um, bend at the elbow, no wrist articulation. He can do the splits but it's um, limited by his kind of skirt, I don't know what to call it except for skirt. Um, rubber knees that don't click that well and no articulation in the feet. Um, size comparison with Milan, he is a lot taller than her, which is a good thing. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have a villain. Normally, I would have a villain behind and show you that too. But then, um, since Mulan is not the most popular princess, like I said in my Pocahontas, um, uh, what's his name again? John Smith review. Um, Mulan, Pocahontas, Tiana's aren't the most popular princesses, so they don't get all the merchandise that um, like Rapunzel, Snow White, blah 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 get. 
which is really unfortunate because Mulan is my top two princesses. So I I love her movie. I think she her movie gives out a great message. So that's unfortunate. So hopefully in the future Disney will make a villain for her. Um, I forget who the villain's name is. It Fa Yu or Fa Zhu, something like that. Um, but hopefully they will make a doll of him because he looks so creepy, and I I will be interested to see him in a doll version. So conclusion wise, I do I love the Shang doll. I think it looks great. Um, he is missing a red ribbon for his hair. Normally he ties it with a red ribbon, but I'm fine with that. Um, and it would have been nice if he came with a sword, but then uh, I understand why they don't include the swords. Uh, other than that, I'll see you guys in my next review, which will be Prince Naveen from The Princess and the Frog. So I'll catch you guys soon.